There is a place far, far from man's country where the days are very different. It's called Celesteville, land of the elephants, home of King Baba. A flower for Queen Celeste. Padula, it's perfect. Yes, it is perfect. Now come quickly before Babar gets home. He likes surprises. Ah, there is Cousin Arthur. He is playing hide and seek with Babar's children. <laughs> Fourteen, fifteen, fifteen. That rascal Arthur. Eighteen, nineteen. Arthur, where's Flora and Palm and Alexander? Behind those trees. Arthur, you peep. Zephyr, what is it? Come quickly. I've just heard something marvelous. In man's country, the night before Christmas, do you know what happens? Tell us, Sophia. A wonderful old man with a long white beard flies through the air. Wow. Wait, wait. And he gives toys to all the children. Toys? Toys? Toys! They call him Father Christmas. Is that really true, Sophia? Yes. Well, why doesn't he come to the land of elephants? Let's ask Papa. Yes. Father Christmas just has to come to Celestial. Yeah! Hooray! <laughs> that looks better. Baba, <coughs> now close your eyes. <laughs> A surprise for me. <laughs> Are you ready? Look. <gasps> Babar? What? My sculpture! Oh. It's the work of Redaxus, the diabolical rhinoceros. He must be captured at once. Call the guards. Papa, Mama, we want Father Christmas to come. The just told us. He brings toys to all the children. At Christmas time. Man's wait, wait, children. We want him to come to Celeste, though, Mama, and bring us toys, too. Father Christmas. Oh, we'd never come here. Well, I think it's a wonderful idea. Don't you, Baba? Hmm. Yes. Why don't you write him a letter and ask him nicely if he'll come? That's it. We'll write. And we'll tell him Arthur wants a train, an electric train. Bright red that goes under bridges. And that I want a robot that really works. And tell him Palm wants a teddy bear. I'd like a doll with curly hair. A bike. That's what I want. Zephyr, your writing's the best. Yes, Zephyr. You write the letter. Okay. Now, here's some paper and a pencil. Wait a minute, wait a minute. And I want a saxophone. A saxophone? A saxophone? Arthur asked for two things. There it goes. Oh, please, Father Christmas, answer our letter soon. Now, let's go home and wait. Oh, the taxes, you are one bad fellow. <laughs> What is the matter? Oh, Papa, it's Father Christmas. We've waited for ten whole days. And he hasn't answered our letter. <laughs> <laughs>
Perhaps you forgot to put a stamp on your letter. It won't get there without a stamp. Hmm. We did put a stamp on it. I licked it myself. A stamp? Oh, my gosh. Letters do get lost in the mail. <laughs> hmm. I suppose... Yes, I could go myself and ask Father Christmas to come. You will? Hurry! <laughs> oh, then he will bring our toys. Now, Flora, I will have to find him first. No more water! I will get to Father Christmas first, Bobbar. And all those toys will be mine! <laughs> All aboard! Don't worry about the taxes. He wouldn't know where to begin to find Father Christmas. Do you, Papa? Uh, well, they'll help me in man's country. After all, I am a king. Goodbye, my dear. Goodbye, everyone. Red Texas! Passing a door, the soap is on the floor. Lying down there, just by the door. Hmm. That silly elephant will lead me right to Father Christmas and when he dies. Uh, hello? Baba? 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 Baba is not here. Uh, I am the maid. Can I help you? Yes. You must give Babar an urgent message. A message? Oh, you can trust me, madame. Tell him that dreadful rhinoceros has followed him to Paris. <laughs> well, hello there. Did I hear a phone ring just now? Oh, the phones are always ringing in this hotel. Yes, I suppose they are. Will you be staying long, monsieur? No, I'm just passing through. I'm looking for Father Christmas. Father Christmas? Why, he's staying in this very hotel. It's true. He's on the top floor. He's here? What extraordinary good luck. He's staying upstairs. Come on, we'll show you. King Baba, Father Christmas. He stays here peacefully all through the year. Until the night before Christmas, or when he's taken downstairs. But this isn't the one I'm looking for. The real Father Christmas doesn't live on top of a tree. job you do here, sir. Ah, merci, monsieur. You can tell all these people which way to go. Perhaps you could tell me which way to go. I'm looking for Father Christmas. Ah, Father Christmas? Of course. Bon, he often chats with the fishermen down there by the river. My goodness, does he really? Ah, uh, yes. I'm sure he's there now. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Hey, Father Christmas! Hey, Paisano! Father Christmas? Yes? I'm King Baba. 
We've heard about you in Celesteville. I have a list of toys from the children. Oh, my word. I am not that Father Christmas. My name is Pizarro Campiotti. I am an artist model. My friends, the artists, have nicknamed me Father Christmas <laughs> because of this. Hey, you! You see an elephant come by here? An elephant? Ah, oui. He's down at the river talking with Father Christmas. Father Christmas! Wait. Wait. There is a fellow at the university. He studies maps. Maps to everywhere. Really? Professor Laframbois. He's a bit... Uh, <laughs> but maps. He may have the one you're looking for. My toys! Oh, God! Ah. King Baba, you must be from the land of elephants. Yes. I have a map of Celesteville. Where did I put it? Bottom drawer, left-hand side. But I don't need a map of Celesteville. To where? It's Father Christmas I'm looking for. Saint Nick, Santa Claus, Father Christmas. They're all the same, you know. And they all live in one place. But where? North of Bormenia. Yes, north of Bormenia. But no one knows exactly where north of Bormenia. It's a secret. The map's in your vault, Professor. Of course. It's the only vault in the world with a map like that in it. In fact, it's the only map in the world that shows exactly where Father Christmas lives. It must be rare. Where? Yes! Where's the vault? Uh? I took the liberty of getting the map, Professor. Our guest being a king and all. Oh, I couldn't. Take it. You'll need it. And dress warmly, King Baba. It's cold in Bormenia. <laughs> <laughs> no toys for black taxis. He's been bad. Black taxis bad. <laughs> if only I could see Babar one more time, I would say black taxis. Well, Retaxis? Don't worry about Retaxis, Celeste. <laughs> I have a map that shows exactly where Father Christmas lives. So tell the children I'm leaving for Bormenia at once. Toys, toys, little toys, soon to be on the line. Off, my friend. <laughs> oh. Now don't freeze, King Babar, until we get there. <laughs> Snowmobiles beyond this point. Hmm. Well, it doesn't say anything about skis. Oh, it can't. 
can't be much farther. I'll take shelter in those trees. Shh. The map. I must check the map. Oh, this wind! The map! The map! Come back! Oh, now I'm really lost. Good gracious, it's cold. Perhaps tomorrow my luck will improve. <laughs> way to my underground kingdom for the children of Celesteville. Well, uh, uh, but I'm afraid I cannot visit. I am already so busy with the children of man's country. Excuse me, sir, but there's a rather strange looking bird in the paint shop, and we don't know uh, what color to paint it. Strange bird? Hmm. You see, I had great difficulty last year completing all my deliveries. So this is where you make toys for all the children of man's country. And there are more and more children in the world. And only one Father Christmas. Green, I tell you! With black stripes! Uh, here we are. These birds are supposed to be purple. I... I... Why, that's a flamingo. It's colored pink. I told you! You did? Pink? Oh, we have many flamingos in Celesteville. And they're all colored pink. Pink. How wonderful it would be to see pink flamingos. <laughs> Father Christmas... Why don't you come to Celesteville uh, before Christmas? You could use a rest before that long journey, I'm sure. <laughs> I could do it. I will do it. A day off. A whole day off. FX1 preparing for takeoff. Raise the rear door. Roger. Raising rear door. Clear the ladder. <laughs> ladder clear. Goodbye, everyone. I'm going to Celesteville. <laughs> FX1 departing for Celesteville. Wait. <laughs> Home, my little home. Father ah! Christmas! Hooray! Children, children, <clears throat> Father Christmas, we welcome you to Celesteville. Thank you, Queen Celeste. Did you get our letter? Oh, you must be Flora. And I'm Pa. Is it true that you fly through the air? With a big bag of toys? Arthur. So you're Arthur. Arthur asked for two things. An electric train. And a saxophone. I asked for a robot. I asked for a teddy bear. Now, children, Father Christmas has come to spend a day in <laughs> Celesteville with all of us before his long journey. <laughs> no, Toys for Red Pumps. <laughs> Red Pumps! Yes. 
Yes. He's been quite a nuisance around here. What a tragedy at Christmas. Isn't there anything we can do? Hmm, well... Yes, there is something we, uh, uh, he can do. Come on, giddy up. Let's go. Giddy up. <laughs> Father Christmas is getting a suntan. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Father. Goodbye, Father Christmas. Bye, Father Christmas. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, children. Goodbye, everyone. Oh, I've had fun today, King Babar. We'll see you on Christmas Eve. Yes. Father Christmas will visit you all, won't he, King Babar? Thank you, Celesteville, for a wonderful holiday. Well, how do I look? Like... Like Father Christmas. <laughs> he did say it was magic. What did he mean? Oh! It flies! Christmas. Katrina. I'm going to call her Katrina. Katrina. What a wonderful Christmas. Mama, Papa, a real robot. Father Christmas brought it just for me. And it really <laughs> worked. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you all. A horn. A brand new horn. It's Christmas in Celestville and in man's country too. Well, King Babar, we've decked the hall. Tonight we're off to the elephant's ball. 